everybody this natural craft is a showstopper it's a driftwood starburst and all you need is driftwood so go on out there streams rivers lakesides and grab some flat pieces but a variety of lengths and the other thing is I'm going to have tips throughout the whole video so make sure you watch right to the end this starburst is about 20 inches wide so I've cut a 10 inch diameter circle out of the cardboard and then my pieces are going to hang over about 5 inches on each side which will equal 20 in total. So I just choose the center and then I line up some pieces that are long enough to kind of start in the middle but they've got an overhang of 5 inches. So I've gone through and sorted through my pieces, found some that can lie flat and even if they don't come all the way to the center, don't worry about it, but you need enough of them sitting on the cardboard that the glue is gonna fix. Then I just dry fit some other pieces around and start gluing on those four main arms. And when you're gluing, make sure you glue the touch points, the points that are going to touch each other. So it could be the points between your driftwood and the cardboard, or when you get into your second layer, it's gonna be driftwood on driftwood. So kind of rub it back and forth to find out where the touch points are and that's what you're going to lay your glue on because it makes for a better adhesion. As you can see, once I've glued on the four main arms, I've also got those side pieces already dry fit and I kind of leave them there so that I don't have to go back and figure it all out again. And then just simply glue those on as well, making sure that they are the same distance uh, that you wanted extending. So I just make them a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter than the forearms. And where there are spots that eventually are gonna be hidden, you see that there are pieces touching. Just add a little extra glue for some more strength. And then finish off your first layer by simply gluing all those additional pieces on. And again, it's like a puzzle, so if one piece doesn't quite fit the way you thought it would, just find another one that does. Before we move on to layer two, just gently flip over that first layer and then this is where we can attach some screws. I usually screw one screw into each of the four main arms, but you may only need one or two screws. And make sure your screw is long enough to go through the cardboard and the driftwood, but that it's not sticking out through the driftwood because you're going to be adding a second layer. And whether you're using a drill or a screwdriver, just gently place your hand underneath the piece that you're drilling into just to make sure that it is stable. And if you don't have any screws, here's a couple of alternatives. But I do like using the screws because it's easier to move around and hang later. When you're finding your pieces for layer two and layer three, we're trying to fill in the holes in between each of the driftwood arms. So as you can see, you'd still be able to see some of the cardboard backing, but if you fit a piece in between each of them, you're going to cover up that space. It also enhances the starburst look. So I take a piece, I kind of layer it around, see where it fits best. You just want to make sure their distance from the edge of the last layer is consistent. So if you go in an inch or two inches, just make sure they're all that same distance from the end. So glue down your second layer, making sure you're filling those holes. And then now on to layer number three. Now for layer number three, again, you're still trying to find a little bit smaller pieces each time that are going to extend out to keep that starburst look, but you're going to have a center open piece. So I like to try and fill that in and that way you'll have something to affix the final pieces on top of. When you get to your fourth layer, there's going to be a hole in the middle. So you can either use a larger piece to cover that hole or you can continue even with a fifth layer to get smaller pieces closer and closer together so that it'll fill that hole. I found a really nice driftwood piece that I'm gonna use for the center. So again, same process, continuing to layer down your fourth layer. And then once you have affixed all of those pieces, then you can simply add that top piece in to fill that hole. So you see here, as I'm adding the last few pieces for my fourth row, there's still that little hole in the middle. And that's where I'm gonna use that nice, kind of corky looking piece of driftwood to fill in that hole. So basically three or four layers will do it. Just make sure they're all consistent in terms of how far they stick out. Each layer should stick out the same amount. And then when you're adding on top of each layer, 
And the beautiful thing about driftwood is there's so many different colors and textures in it. It looks phenomenal with any decor. So even if you have a plain wall, it looks stunning because it really pops. And if you have a colorful backdrop or a colorful wall, it also looks amazing. So it pulls in on those colors that you've chosen for your decor. So you know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe because I make new natural crafts for every season and have some fantastic natural recipes for your whole family to enjoy.